I'd like to thank the state's attorney for joining me today. My staff worked collaboratively over the last several days to achieve a 10% reduction in the state's attorney's 2011 budget. We've met our shared objective, which was to achieve this reduction and minimize attorney layoffs. Over the years, the state's attorney has been asked to do more with less, and she's found ways to successfully handle a tremendous caseload while maintaining a high standard of service for the people of our county. We've talked about performance management as something that the county critically needs in order to build a culture that requires accountability of its employees. The agreement we're here to talk about today includes a plan to use the state's attorney's office as a model for the rest of the county when it comes to performance management. We were able to reach an agreement by making the following changes to our budget recommendation. Directing budget money set aside for outside counsel, counsel to fund in-house assistant state's attorneys. For example, legal work done by the Forest Preserve that had been previously performed by outside counsel will now be handled by the state's attorney's office. Increasing our focus on shared services. For example, the state's attorney has agreed to, to better coordination and collaboration on pursuing workers' comp cases to lower the county's worker compensation costs. And finally, reductions in non-personnel costs, charging some costs to capital where appropriate. We're also looking to solve long-term problems that will result in long-term savings. Just as we have pledged to address the abuse of sick time and FMLA absences in the county, we're going to work on workers' compensation as well. The state's attorney has agreed to work with the president's office to go after abusers throughout Cook County. We're committed to pursuing efficiency and performance management measures throughout the county. The state's attorney has made some very tough choices. The, cut, the cuts that have been made still allow the state's attorney to preserve her core mission. The budget agreement calls for a significant reduction in staff, but it supports staff. These cuts are spread across the civil and criminal litigation divisions. No criminal or civil functions will be lost entirely. State's Attorney. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I am grateful uh, to President Preckwinkle and her entire staff for their willingness to hear out uh, and to listen to all of our concerns uh, about the impact of a 10% cut on the operations of my budget. When I finished my budget address on Tuesday, I told the commissioners that I was open to all possible options that would address my concerns about having the adequate resources and staffing to fund the public safety operations of the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Over the course of the last two days, uh, and this has been nonstop, um, my staff has been working with the President's staff to address their concerns and to come up with creative options that would help us to minimize our reductions in staffing, particularly in severe reductions to the number of Cook County prosecutors working in our criminal and civil divisions. We have reached this point because the President has agreed to provide my office with additional resources and to identify sources of funding outside of my budget. It will also involve shared services and a reduction in Cook County government's reliance on private counsel. It will also allocate the cost for the services that my civil attorneys provide more appropriately. I said from the very beginning of this process that I did not expect to be spared from the cuts uh, and from the pain that these cuts will cause. And make no mistake, my office is already feeling that pain. Yesterday we gave notice to more than 100 administrative assistants, clerks, victim witness specialists, and community outreach workers that, were going to, uh, that they were going to be laid off. While the true impact of these reductions remains to be seen, they will have an impact on our day-to-day -day operations, on the length that it takes us to bring our cases through the system and the services that we provide to the victims of crime. But we are very grateful that the President's office uh, listened to our concerns um, that I addressed on Tuesday and that they worked with us to identify um, these other sources that we can um, uh, supply the services that we need to to everyone here in Cook County without any additional cost to the taxpayers 
uh, and it would truly uh, help us to keep these particular units open and operating um, and serving the public as they should. So I want to thank you for your cooperation and, and for listening to our concerns.